Uh, How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm trying to keep my mindset in place, which sometimes isn't easy for me. Yes. Um, and so I've, I've, you know, cause you have the real estate agents that are either like freaking out. Oh my God, don't be out in the streets. You're contaminating everybody. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, that's not realistic. And maybe you can afford to just sit at home and do nothing. But right. actually in Georgia, we are considered, um, we're considered an essential business. And I got one of my listings under contract and the other one that I just listed on Saturday, um, I should be getting an offer today. Mm-hmm. So it's just, I don't know, you know, like I said, I'm just trying not to feed into the, Oh my God, because yeah, that's what happened to me. Um, a few years ago in the last crash. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. well, this isn't really a crash, but I was just so stressed out. And so I, I let me just, I don't know how we kept a roof over our heads. Yeah. So, but we did. So I'm just trying to stay focused on my business. Um, I think, and I, I told you yesterday, my book came out on Kindle yesterday. Amazing. So I'm excited Congrats. about that. Yes. Thank you. And I'm kind of almost like, wow, talk about perfect timing. How many real estate agents are now again, freaking out mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. because they don't have a plan B. And we were just starting to work on getting back up. We were just starting to get back on our feet uh, personally. Cause when you've taken the kind of hits and losses, like, we have and not just us there were many many people it takes you a long time to recover it sure does yeah it's like just as long as it takes you to you know to get to the top it seems like you could just hit the hit the bottom in the next you know two seconds you know it might take you 20 years to get to the top but it takes you two seconds to get to the bottom yeah exactly you know so and and you and i are, are are totally on the same page as far as just mindset and focus and what we should be doing rather than feeding into obviously I mean I did a video I did a YouTube video on this the other day it's like obviously you can you know you got to be aware and you have to obviously know what's going on out there but it's like man you can't just just stay you just can't stay glued to that TV you just cannot just stay focused on the negatives you know you have to go out there and build your business you got to do something yeah. And it's, so. it's, hard, it's, and it's hard to do. Oh, well, I don't really turn on the TV. It's more, my yeah. husband's been home the last couple of days and mm-hmm. he's just got CNN running 24 seven. I said, you got to turn that shit off. Like I can't listen to this. It's like, yep. I can't listen to this crap anymore. And you shouldn't be listening to this crap anymore either. Yep. So I've actually, um, you're on the lab coat. That's how we met. No, I forget how we met, how we connected. You're on the lab coats agents page. Aren't you? No, we probably just connected just on Facebook as, as normal friends. Okay, gotcha. Um, and so they've been pretty good. So they've been having um, like Facebook Lives throughout the day on different things. And, you know, how do you lead generate in this climate? What else can you do? And just kind of, so I've been plugging into that mm-hmm. just to keep me going. And so far it's it's been um, it's been pretty good. Good, really good. And so what, what are they, I'm curious to know, what are they like talking about as far as lead generation? Like what are, what's the advice you're hearing? So everything that I've seen so far over the last couple of days and some, I just have to go back and watch. Um, I didn't watch, I didn't watch the one, it kept cutting out for some reason on my computer yesterday on different ways to lead generate, but that group, the Whitley group, um, and club wealth, there's a gal who's going to be on today at, at, uh, I think noon, I think it's noon my time or three o'clock my time. I can't remember. There's and then I have another one at one. Is um everybody's saying now's the time to really get out there and to and get market share. And yeah. now's the time to really be doing video. And I'm like, great, I freaking hate video. Yeah. Um, but now's the time to get out there and and do video. And instead of scaling back, now's the time you really should keep all your stuff yep. going so that um people know who you are when you come out of it, you know. Mm-hmm hopefully your business will be better. Um, and that's, that's the most part video, video, video seen is, has been the, the main message over the last, let's say week. And is it, is it more video live or is it more just like video organic posting? Because you got, you got video live and, and this, again, I, I did another video on this a couple of days ago. 
where it's just, it's just what I, you know, I see it by the thousands because I have thousands of agents as friends on my mm -hmm. personal Facebook page. But I was talking about Facebook lives and just how untargeted that is. But yet you got coaches and gurus and brokers still teaching their agents to go out there and do video and, and it's video live. It's Facebook live. And so is that the type of advice that you're still getting Facebook lives or is it just putting out a video on social media in general? Or the third one, is it actual, is it actually running a Facebook ad of that video targeting your local area? Cause those are three different videos. Yeah, they are. You know, so it's been a combination. Um, some have just said, just get out there and, you know, just get on Facebook live and, and, you know, kind of talk about you or, mm -hmm. or what's going on. And other ones, you know, uh, Facebook live, just talk to people like what's going on or what's going on in the market. And the mm -hmm. other one has been, um, yes, do videos for targeted Facebook ads. Yeah. Um, and I tried to do the other one. They're like, okay, do a zoom call and post it or, you know, um, use zoom calls or use zoom video to then mm -hmm. target this yeah, is kind yeah. of where i get to you know do a zoom video and then like get it out the other one's like okay do video emails you know but for that you need bomb bomb which i don't have mm -hmm. um do a short video and text it all to your clients so it's just been in multiple yeah you know they're kind it's kind of like all over the map yeah um, and I was trying to do a Facebook Live and I failed epically on Friday. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's mm -hmm. still up there somewhere, but I was trying to add someone because I was getting a lot of calls from people. Um, and I was on the Zoom call with the rent ladies where all of a sudden their deals just didn't get funded because these hard money lenders just stopped funding. Mm -hmm. And so I had a guy out in, uh, he's out in California and he agreed. He's like, man, you're really putting me outside of my comfort zone. I said, because I don't like talking or doing video. I said, well, I don't either. So this is good for both of us. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out how to add him. Like he, he would not come into my Facebook live. And I read the directions and unfortunately there's no way to like test a Facebook live before you do it. And it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't bring him in. They're like, if he, if you have a Facebook live and they're watching it. You can just click on them and add them, and it. He never came on. I don't know what the hell happens. Mm -hmm. um, but I tried. And I mean, Facebook Live. Facebook Live. To tell you the truth, in your for your case, in your case, it would be good to be talking about, obviously, real estate investing and your book. But if we're trying to get a hold of of our local market for for real estate for 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 a residential purchase, you know, buying and selling, it's like, man, that that's where a Facebook ad has to come in play. So, so you got, you got some people that are giving you that type of advice. And then you got one type of person who's giving you the advice of, okay, there's, there's all these different ways we can put out a video, but I'm telling you, like, this is the second type of person. This is the second type of advice you would get is I would say, take that video and run a Facebook ad directly to your local area. That's it. But at the same time, that's for someone that has a budget, right? If someone had a budget, that's what they would be doing is, is rather than just posting it everywhere, run it to your backyard. That's how you get your market share because your local, you know, a local real estate agent, that's, that's their, their market. Right. Yep. But you have more of a nationwide. So, I mean, you could, Facebook lives could be good for you, you know, and, and then the zoom, all that is, like I'm on Zoom right. We're on Zoom right now. Like, yeah, so, and I have a free Zoom account. Which like, yeah, what, that's like what forty minutes, I think, or something. Yeah, yeah, that's the one that I've been on forever, and it just allows you to to screen share, or or not. You don't necessarily have to screen share, but that's what I use it for. And then yeah, once the video is done, I can upload it wherever I want. But right. <laughs> even on even on your cell phone, I mean, if you were just doing, I'm telling you, Lorraine, you you would crush it with video. You just would. Everyone is afraid of video. And, and the, the, one percent that actually can, can bust out of their shell, it's more easier and it's funner than you think. Like it really is like, it really is, but see that and, and I'm getting better. I'm slowly getting there. Friday when I screwed up really kind of was like, okay, I guess this really isn't so bad. Cause I'm just telling everyone, I'm like, guys, I don't know what's going on. I can't bring them on here. And I think I've watched enough of, I think I've watched enough over the last week mm -hmm. to be like, they're just regular people having conversations. That's all it is. And I'm man. okay. See, and I'm okay if I'm having a conversation with somebody. It's when I have to flip the camera and have it on me. That's yeah. that's my yeah. self-conscious, you know, kicking in. If I'm just yeah. 
talking to you or you and I got on or I'm on a podcast or I'm mm -hmm. having a, that's what it is. If I'm interacting with somebody, I'm fine. If it's just yeah. me just talking, that's my problem. Yeah, I get it. I totally get my it. My mental problem. Mm hmm mm hmm Why don't you start doing interview type of stuff? You've done a few already. I mean, you do, you do great on podcasts and interviews. Start interviewing people. Maybe reach out to a client and do a simple video with them. Reach out to your lender, do a simple video with them. Reach out to another agent, reach out to whoever, and just partner up with these people that are not your exact competitors, but more of your partners, and just do, do simple videos with them. You know, yeah, I think right now the way we, unless I can figure out how to do, because that's what I was trying to do with this guy since he was in California. I'm like, okay, let's get on and do a Facebook Live. So we talked about maybe just doing a Zoom and recording it. Yeah, that's um, what you should do, for sure. But so do you think that would work just kind of doing a zoom call because now since we're technically quarantined and we're not supposed to go see anybody yeah um i don't know how else to do it interview style unless i did a zoom, yeah unless i did a zoom call and recorded it yeah that that'd be the best way that's, that's how i do it that's how i do all my all of my calls through zoom and screen share or not screen share and just maybe put on the camera and record, you know, both of you guys, like you and I did on the podcast, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, like that. But, but here's this, here's the, here's the main, 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 main secret sauce, like the main secret sauce, the main strategy, the golden, you know, goose, whatever you want to call it is to be consistent. Yeah. That's what no one is. No one is consistent. Like they'll do a video here and there. Like what you want to do is you literally want to schedule it. You want to put it down on your calendar and say, you know what, whatever I got to do, there's a video going up every Friday at 8 a.m. Bottom line, like, like as if it was your religion, because if you just do one here and there, then that's what that's, that, that, that's, that's, what's going to, it's, it's not going to be effective at all, like at all, at all to penetrate a market. And that's why I, I, I'm a Facebook ad guy. You have to penetrate a local market. If we're just posting on social media, we're not targeting anything or anyone specifically. Like it's just throwing spaghetti against the wall. And I know I told you that before. That's organic posting for you. You know, but again, someone with you with a nationwide book, with a global book where you can send that book to anyone in the entire world, it makes more sense. But for a local realtor, that's the worst thing you could be doing. Facebook Live. Like I did a video on, on it the other day and got a great response on it. Because people reply, re, agents reply back and they're like, damn, David, this, this is so true. Everyone's doing a Facebook Live and not getting anywhere with it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and my whole video was just talking about how you already did the video. All we got to do now is target a location. Spend a few bucks, target loca a location. And when they click on it, you take them to a landing page to capture the lead versus taking them to your website. Right. And just that basic, just that little basic, that's what it's all about. Um, but again, I mean, and, and that's why when you start working with partners, it, it, now you got to coordinate schedules. Now you got to see which who's willing and, and who's, you know, available. It's like, there's, there's so much that, that can play a part where it's like, I know for a fact, you may not get one out weekly. Like the strategy is to get one out weekly is to get one out. It, 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 you, I mean, I would say every day, but you're not going to do one every day. So if you did one once a week, then, then that becomes the norm for your audience. And now every Friday at 8 a.m., everyone can expect a video from Lorraine. It becomes a weekly TV show. Same time, same channel, same everything, every week. It's, you're, you're the new Ellen. And, 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 so, now, you know, and, and that's for Facebook, correct? That, that, that's, for fa that's for Facebook. And, and to tell you the truth, that same video, and that's what I also talked about in that previous video that I did a couple days ago, is that same video uploaded to YouTube. So now you're able to hit YouTube. YouTube is more of your of your of your general audience, but Facebook, yeah, with that video, what I'm saying is it should be an ad. And see this this Karen Paris right here, the one that just went Facebook just Live. Popped up. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, that's all I see all day. And 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 you know, God bless them all. You know, God bless all you guys that are doing this. But at the same time, she's talking about her listing, and I'm out here in San Diego, nowhere in the market at all this is a person that's out there in i mean where's she at she's in she's in she's in virginia so all i'm saying when it comes to our facebook friends yeah. mm -hmm. all of the 90 99 she's not showing her total friend count nor does it matter but if anything this number is probably at 3800 friends she probably has you know 4200 friends if she's scaling up which every business owner 
is doing normally, like naturally, like everyone's trying to get as many followers. Everybody's trying to get as many friends. Everyone is scaling that number up. But if I'm a local business owner, 99% of those people live across the country. I'm looking at this right. listing right yep. now and it just doesn't apply. Three people are watching it. Right. You know what I mean? So there's, there's the advice you're getting, you know, go, go do Facebook lives. You guys, it's like, what? You gotta be kidding me. And that's just what I see by the thousands everyone's doing. And that's not getting her anyone, anything. So, so Facebook live with you and your lender in California. Yeah. You guys deal with more people nationwide, but, but if we're talking just local real estate, this is not what you're doing. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And that's, and that's kind of, and that's, so I've, I, so I'm kind of a little, t I'm twofold. Um, t two of my, did you get a chance to pop into my Whitley? Yeah. I'm in it right now. Okay. Right here. I just, what did you, I couldn't go ahead. figure it out. I, I couldn't figure it out. I say you're going too fast. I can't say it. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, whoa, right. a data collection. You need a data collection back. You must provide a, I have no idea what that means. Let's yeah, provide man. a look. Um, I, I probably, cause my, I need to reconnect my Zapier. I think my Zapier, I've got to pay it cause it didn't go through on my card. I got to switch cards. That could be that. Uh, um, you need, you're, you need a data collection background for this funnel. Okay. I don't know what that was. And then you must provide a locale. For I don't your know what funnel. that is either. Yeah, so I, I tried put in a few different, you know, words just to just to see if I can proceed and hit submit. But yeah, it just gave me that error. And then and then yeah, and I, I guess I guess all it does is it just provides a simple page for you. If anything, like you plug in the you plug in the, the text and then it just I I guess it just spits out a page for you. But but none of the funnels are are none of these are 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 even done or active. So that's the marketing. This would be the funnel side. And then, yeah, your metrics and then your drip campaigns. This would just, I guess this is your email autoresponder. Mm -hmm. But it's it like, but yeah, but it's just, there's nothing in here. So let me click on sales flow. So that's sales weird, flow for buyers. I would say it should be in there because I paid them to set all this up. So um, this was last October, I think. Yeah, so it, it does this, the, um, it does, it, it'll text, it'll, mm -hmm. let's see, because like I said, I was like, okay, if I can get someone to organize me with some of this shit, because I just don't know how to do it, I don't have the time, yeah. it's not only that I don't know how, I don't have, I don't know how to do it, I don't have the patience to do it, and I really don't have the time to do it, because I'm too busy yeah. out there trying to generate more business, that I'm like, I'm one person, I'm too, I'm too mm -hmm. freaking scattered. No, I hear um, you. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to figure out, do I, do I stick with this? Um, should I do Kartra? Cause this, this will renew. I have one more, one more month free, I believe. I think April is free and then I'll start getting charged in um, uh, May. There is a guy, his name's Matt, Matt McCutch McCutcheon. I think that's how he says his last name, who has been using this program for probably about a year he's killing it he's north of me he's here in georgia um but he's further north he we're not in the same market mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so i need to get something because as i've i've talked to a couple of agents over the last couple of days one's a good friend of mine uh who's out and she's between california and atlanta we talked so i'm like so what are you doing and she said she's using um what is she using she's using Wilopo and follow up boss. And she's spending about a grand a month. I'm like, oh, that's great. I can't spend a grand a month. So I'm just trying to figure out where is a, where is a good place for me to start with a limited budget to start getting at least something out there because something is better than nothing. So why Lopo, uh, is, that a, is that a lead broker? Why Lopo is, um, like I'm not- buy leads? Uh, let me see, hang on. I don't even really know. I just started looking at it yesterday. It's like there's a thousand dollar setup fee, and it does something. It's specifically for Facebook ads. Why Lopo? Let's see. That's it. And that's my other problem. There's so many freaking programs out there that I don't know what I should use. See, and that's why, like, I, I that, that's why I use. I mean, that's why Kartra. I use. Yeah, I mean, that's why I use Kartra because all it is is just basic landing pages, my email autoresponder and a calendar. Aside of that, all I need is to be running a Facebook ad every single day to my local backyard. That's it, Lorraine. Like that is it. Like there's nothing else we need to spend money on. 
Like that is it. Like, and if this was really a turnkey system, I would say, you know what, let's, but if I'm a website guy over here, I'm a social media guy over here and this stuff is confusing to me. So it's confusing I, me too. I mean, it's supposed to I mean, be, that's what it's supposed to it, be. But yeah, I, and I it, get in here and I'm like, I don't know what the hell, to, I don't know what to do. And then, and then I clicked on the training part of it all. Cause over here you can click on training and then it brings you over here to this course directory. And there's just so much going on. So for someone that actually has the time to sit down and really, you know, cause there, there, there's, there's just, there's, there's, I guess there's a training on so many different things, but I don't yeah, need so many different things. I just need a handful of things. Like I just need, and in this case, I'm telling you, it's literally just Facebook ads. So if all of these were courses on Facebook ads, that might make more sense. But then I got licensed closer. I got homes list for mortgage. I got, there's just so much stuff going on. And I guess if you're, if you're, if you have the time and if this is what you're trying to learn, then okay, cool. And if it's not costing you that much, then okay, cool. I guess keep it. But in this case, there's just this training. It, it doesn't, it, I, I don't know. There's just, I don't, I don't need that right now. Like I just need something basic and I'm, t you know, in that's how I look at everything. Forget about just your business. Like just overall, like Facebook ad landing page, that's it. Like, that's it. Like, that's it. That's it. Not even. So, okay. Question. So you said Facebook ad landing page, and then where does the information from the landing page go to? Into your CRM, into Kartra, for example. Okay. So you would start building a list inside of Kartra um, of all the people who clicked on your ad regarding an open house. A list of everyone who clicked on your ad regarding a listing. A, sec a third list of everybody you know that clicked on your ad looking for property. So all that is done in there. But at the same time, when you, when, yeah, when you start looking at these other fancy CRMs and these other fancy systems, and yeah, you're looking at about 1000 to 1500 a month. Um, for so much stuff. And, and so this just has the IDX, it has branded website, which you don't need. Lead generation is what you need. Listing pocket need lead nurture, which is your email autoresponder. And then the CRM to host all the leads. So, I mean, if you want, if you want all the fancy stuff, then, then the IDX home search could be, could be good. A branded website is not even needed. Uh -huh. um, lead generation Dynamic real estate ads, we leverage the power of lead ads, digital boards. Facebook lead ads are designed to capture accurate. Okay, so I don't know if they're running ads for you or if they're just helping you set it up. I um, think she said they run ads for you because that's what she told me, that her yeah, Lobo included mm -hmm. her ad spend. Yeah, so that makes more sense. So if she has the entire system and, and you know, she has to pay for the Facebook ad, then that would, that would make sense. But at the same time, running a Facebook ad to a branded website is not what you do. Running a Facebook ad to, I don't know what listing rocket is, seven life cycle either. stages, demographics, listing, lead nurture. This is your email autoresponder. It's really just, I'm telling you, it's really just lead your email autoresponder, a Facebook ad, which is lead generation and your, and your CRM. That's kind of it. Like that's kind of all a person really needs. But again, you got fancier tools and some people want to be fancy, but so, um, with, so with Kartra, and I, I'm just going to pick yours because I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this out all in my brain. So one of the reasons I liked Whitley and one of the reasons I went with this, cause they already have all of the autoresponders and the texts and all of that stuff built in there. If I go over to Kartra, I have to create all of that stuff, right? Well, it's just simply copying and pasting yeah to answer your question yes but in this case with like if you look at all like that's what i was looking at so for example we're in these are drip campaigns drip emails let's look at this really quick all they are are just just basic let me see fake email yeah see it's they're all they are is a bunch of like like one-liners like not even not even full-blown here we go my dad lived three hours away from like a few, a few sentences, but that's it. That's all the, that's all, that's all the follow-up is, is a few, a few sentences. So if they have way more, so this is good stuff right here. This is good stuff right here. People ask, ask, and, and this is where you're just nurturing a list. This is exactly what your dream, your drip emails are, is just nurturing that lead, nurturing that list and just sending them a, a ton of emails after they've already opted in. So this right here, I mean, yeah, the system is there. You got to just figure out how to use it. I mean, that's, that's kind of what it's going to come down to. 
and it's like oh, this yeah this, this is like i don't know it's just not too not too easy for me to really understand just sold and i tell you the truth like all these emails are not even necessary to tell you the truth like to really really tell you the truth they're not even necessary like you have a ton of emails that go out for well, let's say they went out. Let's say let's say this is the drip email. So let's say, for example, this went out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Let's call it twenty. There's twenty emails there. And let's click on this one right here. And so you, what you're going to have to do anyways is you're going to have to go into all these 20 emails and literally rewrite them or just edit them is what you're going to have to do also because you can't just plug the system in and these emails are designed for what you're doing. Like they are to a certain extent, but this right here, you wouldn't email this. I'm writing a follow-up with my email and voicemail. We're in the process of closing files. for Like you would have to go in and edit that. Like that's not an exact email you would send, send out. Now the template is there. That's what that's what the whole system, you know, is there for is, is to provide the template, but you still gotta go in and edit everything. You gotta edit every email. So only so it fits your personality and it fits your brand and it fits right. what the hell you're talking about. Typically, when I have heard back from someone, it means they are either really busy or aren't interested. If you aren't interested, do I have your permission to close your file? So it's like when does that email go out like that's that's a drip email but what i think it's hmm. when they fall into um the scene i don't know how the shit connects that's my problem and i i think it comes in well i don't know about it they have a bunch of them open door yeah i have um yeah see so this <clears throat> So really, buyer, home buyer guide, or current value. homes list, homes list is one of the ads I've run. Okay, down so further. homes list. <clears throat> so you got homes list and then these are the emails that go out. Okay. So then here's, okay. So it all starts with this one. So if we preview this one. Yeah. And it emails and texts. Okay, so welcome to the important notes inventory changes. Okay, so yeah, so I mean, <clears throat> to tell you the truth, I mean, that's a lot of good information. Those are a good, lot of good emails that are set to go out based on, on that campaign homes list. So now it just kept, okay, so if we have the email part down, in these emails, here's another thing. In these that's emails. That's a text right there. You see the telephone? It's a text. Gotcha, that's a text. Okay, cool. So then that's an email, that's a text, that's an email. That's an email. Let's click on checklist. Okay. So, yeah. So if anything, you're going to still have to come in here and see. So this right here, if in case you missed it before, you can download it here. So what they're using, what, what he used to even create this. That's very interesting. I just saw it right now. Click funnels. I just saw click yeah. funnels. <laughs> yeah. So he's just using the, the membership inside of click funnels to create this, um, which is cool. With nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, you still, yeah. I mean, if this is your email autoresponder, then that, I mean, because click funnels is just your landing pages, you still need a calendar link. You still need an, an email autoresponder. So with this one, all I would end up putting, <clears throat> excuse me, all I would do is, is <clears throat> if, you, if you do keep this, you want to make sure there's a link to your calendar. So that's the call to action in emails is, is click the link to schedule your best time. And then there's a link that they click on and it takes them straight to your calendar. So that's what I would add for sure in the email campaigns. So yeah, you would still, it's not a, it's not a total plug and play. You still have to come in here and edit all these emails. As you would okay. for anything, like anything, like it's not just this, it's, it's anything. That's how it would, would be for anything. So the template is there. You got to just kind of edit everything, but I just couldn't figure out, I couldn't figure out the landing pages. So the email campaign looks, looks decent for sure. And then, and then the, I just can't figure out <clears throat> how to, how to add a funnel. 
Um, can I click on this top one? Then it brings me here. And this is what I tried going through and I just couldn't get to the, I couldn't click submit because it was asking for that locale or whatever the hell it was. So <clears throat> this is, yeah, this is the back end part, Lorraine, for sure. You definitely need something like this, whether, whether you run with Whitley or you run with a different CRM. I mean, <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's going to be, it's going to be that, that, that Facebook ad, or it's going to be just your, your organic video posting okay so because so, hmm. i have to do so i'm just i'm just so i'm so lost with all of this stuff because it just i i don't know i know that i need it but i don't know it and so that's what i was asking so because Kartra, at the end of the day i think Kartra is the same price as whitley on a monthly basis um mm -hmm. and i have like i had mentioned to you the last time i have a good friend who has used Car, who uses Kartra for all of his stuff. Yes, for sure. So, so many people have came over because the, the two, the main, main popular one forever real estate, every, every industry forever, uh, not forever, but just for the past five years has been ClickFunnels. And then so right. many people left ClickFunnels to come over to Kartra because Kartra is just now the next best thing. So, and it's only because it, it, it comes with all the different services that a person could possibly need the email autoresponder, all your landing pages. This is what you would use it for. So my communications, that's your CRM, that's your email autoresponder. And then pages, this is where you can come in here and create as many pages as you could possibly need. That's all, are, all under my pages. And there's so many pages that are already done for you. So for example, if I click this green button and I, <clears throat> all the templates. So for example, it's not like you have to come in here and build something from scratch. You click on squeeze pages, the templates, everything is already there. Okay. All you do is switch out a picture, switch out the headline, and that's it. So many, all these different like thank you pages. So when they come to your page, they enter their name and email, they click submit, then they come to a thank you page. So all the templates are already done for you. Um, so that that's a good thing about about the pages. It's all done for you. And then and then you would use it for also for any type of video hosting. So if you have a video and you want to put it on a landing page, so for example, these emails that they're saying send out, you know, or, or a text video sent out to all your clients, you could put those videos on Kartra and then, and then your calendar, that calendar, that link is what I put in my emails. Okay. So that's super important because the person is either going to reply to that email. If there was an interest, so let's say an email went out, you, you have an email autoresponder and nine days later, an email went out to an individual. That person is either going to reply to that email or they can simply click on your link and schedule a call. And, and that's why I provide the link. Cause I don't want you replying to my email. You can reply to my email, but I got to reply back. Like that's micromanaging. I, I don't have time for that. If right. that email resonated with you and if it makes sense, click the damn link, schedule a call. You know what I mean? And so I, I, I love that type of leverage, you know, rather than having to micromanage my emails all damn day, you know, just, just schedule the call. So the link in the, in the email makes a huge difference for, for businesses like us that have to get people on the phone, you know? Um, so that's, that's my calendar. So that, that's all, yeah, that's all at $99 a month. But again, it's, it's really these, these, and that's why Whitley and even, even a car trip, for example, it's only necessary. All this crap in here, Lorraine, it's only, only 100% necessary if you're running Facebook ads. If you're not running Facebook ads, none of this stuff is necessary. None of it, none of it. And no, well, yeah, that's all, yeah, that's what that's all for. You know what I mean? Um, so that's why a lot of people look at $99 a month and it's like, yeah, that is a lot of money for sure for anyone, but it's not necessary if you're not running Facebook ads, you know? So that's what this is all for is for, is for traffic, for generating traffic, not just for posting on social media. Okay. You know? Um, so, so then, hang on, I've got some crazy person blowing up my phone. Um, okay. So, so should I, yeah, because Whitley just, I, I don't understand it. And I think that's part of my problem because I get in there and I'm like so totally lost and I feel like I'm always, and they're great. Like the, the Dylan who's over there is mm -hmm. great. 
and they'll come in, they'll review, but then I go back in and I still don't know what the hell to do. It's very cumbersome for me and mm -hmm. it's very confusing for me. And I'm not, because I'm, like I said, you're, if you're a tech person and it's hard for you, then imagine, then I don't yeah, feel I so bad anymore. Um, so sh would you suggest, because where I get stuck, you know, I'm, I'm, I know real estate inside now, and so I have two mm -hmm. questions. So would you suggest I just go in there and copy and paste all those damn emails? Um, because the content is already there because the thought of having to go create a whole new drip program. That's why I like Lion desk as well. When I had it, they had preset, you know, preset autoresponders. I didn't have to go create all of it. Um, what would you suggest? Here's what I would for sure, for sure suggest. I would for sure reach out to your good friend, the one that's on Kartra uh -huh. and say, Hey, what's his name? For example, yeah. Chris. Chris, Chris, here's what I would do. I would say, hey, I'd reach out to Chris and I'd say, hey, Chris, I'm getting ready to sign up with Kartra. So please send me your affiliate link. Yeah, but he has. I, I have it. Yeah, yeah but before I, I sign up, but before I sign up, Chris, I have a small favor. I know you're going to make a commission and I'm totally down with it. It's not even a big deal at all. I want to support. I want to go with you. You're my friend. But I have a huge favor. I have a handful of emails that are in this other CRM. If I sign up with your affiliate link, will you help me out and simply copy out of this old CRM and paste them into my Kartra CRM? Would you do that for me? I probably wouldn't. I doubt it. <laughs> I would. I would. I well, would. then I'll sign up with you. <laughs> that would take that 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 would literally take somebody maybe. I mean, all the emails are right there. It would literally take me with no. I mean, no bullshitting. It would probably take me. 20 minutes. Let's see. It'll probably take me 10 hours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, sure, and Chris yeah. and I like Chris, but Chris kind of disappears and then he pops back in and then he disappears and then he pops back in and then he disappears. Um, like when he disappears, it's like for like eight months. Um, yeah, he had sent me his affiliate link. I never did anything with it. Um, and he said he'd build out my cartridge, but he wants like a grand and I'm like, dude, you yeah, know, see that? I, yeah. you know, the situation I'm in, you know, and I've known him for several years. I'm like, and, and he's no better off than I am, to be honest. And he's going mm -hmm. through a custody battle with his son, Yeah. but, or I'm sure it's still going on because those things just don't ever end quickly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think he would do it. Um, I just don't. See, I have a handful of funnels, anyone, and, and again, I, I have no problem with you going with Chris, but at the same time, like anyone that, that's just what I always extend out to whoever signs up with me, um, because I'm a huge Kartra person, like I'm a huge Kartra affiliate, I have a ton of people on Kartra that have, you know, clicked on my link, but what I always offer them is, I number one, I always offer them my time for free, so they end up getting my time, but then number two, I have a ton of funnels that I automatically import into their account. So I have a listing funnel, I have an open house funnel, I have a buyer funnel, I have a seller guide funnel. So these funnels are already done. And I just simply, right when you activate your account, I import all of them to your account and now you have full blown funnels. Yeah, and, See, so, and I'd rather, yeah, I, I'd rather work with you because like I said, th there are times I can't even get a hold of it. I just, I, w I could never risk my business on him. He's left mm -hmm. me high and dry in the past. Okay, so then. And I can't, I can't, do I can't do that. We were doing a whole like business credit suite mm -hmm. and I had five people that were interested because I would get an affiliate. He was basically MIA and I was sitting there left holding the bag going, dude, like, yeah. like a, a, what am I supposed to do? These people have questions that I can't answer because I did a Zoom call mm -hmm. and I had about 25 people on it and I had five that were ready to, you know, pull the trigger on a, on a, three thousand dollar program mm -hmm. um and he went mia i can't i can't do that i cannot risk that on what i make a living off of yeah yeah i hear you i hear you but this is this is all i all i do is 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 build funnels and 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 i'm in this Kartra dashboard all damn day it's all i do so i mean I'm telling you right now, it's more easier than you think. Like this, this all it need, all we need to do is just drive traffic to one simple page, have them click the damn button and capture the lead. That's it. Like there's nothing else to it. All those emails, I can easily copy and paste all those damn emails and put them in your in your Kartra email autoresponder. Like I can easily do that for you. And 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 that's why I'm I'm fired up actually to tell you the truth. I'm fired up that you gave me access to this because that's what I was going to do anyways. I was actually going to go and hijack you. 
<laughs> well, that's okay. Because... So they can hijack me with my permission. <laughs> <laughs> but but at the same time, I still got to go in there and edit a bunch of them anyway. So I mean, if, if you can have some type of template, that's what's good. It's good to have some type of template. And, and looking at all these, you know, campaigns, there's a handful in there that we can for sure bring over. You know, that would make sense for your business. But if yeah, because uh, from my understanding is the other reason why I think Kartra would be great because one of the things Chris does is he's, he tries to sell some coaching programs mm -hmm. is further on down the line with my flip the switch book. Um, we do want to, I do want to get into some coursework and plus actually above and beyond that, um, they should be uploaded. They should be there today. I did, um, five or eight oh. videos. You'd be so proud of me. Uh, two and a half weeks ago with a friend of mine who has launched a new real estate platform. Well, it's launching in April here in Atlanta, a real estate platform. And I did a series of eight educational videos mm. um, that go in line with my flip the switch. And so I want to, he's going to send me the videos and I want to have a place to have them as well for myself. Plus probably on YouTube wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, yeah, and, and, on your, <laughs> and so, yeah, so then I'll have that content that I created that we could probably break down as well. And it's, you know, why real estate agents should think about invest. Like I said, it follows my flip the switch. Um, and then from there, at some point, I'll do a deep dive. So he's putting me on his, his website as an educator. And that will be, um, that will be nationwide. I think he's in 12 markets already. And, you know, That's teaching really real estate agents how to invest or, you know, will be across, you know, that's, that's national. That's across the board. That's not just specific to Atlanta. So then you, you have a YouTube channel that you're starting already or you, or you have, no, I have a YouTube channel. One got shut down, um, like four months ago. I have no idea why they told me I was spamming and I had inappropriate content and I tried to, I don't know if someone hacked into it. I, it's gone. My other one is, there it is. Um, somehow I have two. I don't know how I have two. Which one, which one do you think is yours? Actually, it's this one right here. Is it the one with your name here? So they're both. That one with Ren, that's me. Those are old. So that's an old, somehow I have two accounts and I don't know how to get rid of one of them. So I have Lorraine Beato and then I have Lorraine Beato one. Lorraine Beato one. Where's that one? I, I don't see. Those are all mine. Those are all past listings of mine. The walkthrough is mine. So we got I don't, this one. That's me. No, that's Rick. So that's my friend, Abby, actually. The Wren, that's not mine. Kid, that's a rehab I did with my mentee. Yeah, so I don't know. Those are all, that's not mine. Willa Drive is mine. Those are all, for the most part, from what I've seen, those are all mine. There's Palmer House Properties. That's me. Yep. This is your channel. That no, that's Palmer. that's the Palmer House channel. Yeah. No. Okay. My channel. So when I, when I went in last night, where I have some testimonials, it's actually the Rain Beato one. I don't know why. Rain Beato one. I don't know. It's really search all properties. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know how I have two accounts or why I wound up with two accounts. See, because I was on site renovation, that was my renovation that I did. That Huntington Circle's mine, Niski Lake is mine, Henderson Mill is mine. The one above the little ranch is mine that just went under contract. Okay, so then. Um, There's me again. Oh, this is a different channel here. That's the one that got shut down. I don't know why, but it, it, I, when I log in, it's no longer there. Well, when you log in, you you want to log in from that email. Look, because 
it, it's actually up because if I can find it, then yeah, I guess then so. It's up. Yeah. So when you log in, like if you're logging in from your from your cell phone or if you're logging in from your computer, this profile picture up here has to be in the correct account. So whatever email, whatever Gmail, it has to be a Gmail. Whatever Gmail yeah. is tied to this account. So if anything, click on this profile picture and then come down to switch account and see which accounts and, and click on all of them. Click on all of them and see which email is tied to this account. Okay. Because because it's for sure still active. If I can see it, it's still there. You're just probably not logging in with the with the correct email. And I have more than one. I have three Gmail emails, and maybe yeah, that's check, why. Check all of them. Check. So, all is them. there a way to put them all together? No. Okay. Yeah, you want to. Um. Yeah, you want to just focus on one. If anything, you can delete the other ones for sure. You can delete them so they're nowhere on. And that's what I do. Like. And a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people have random scattered platforms with, you know, old ones that they may have set up years ago that they never took off the internet. You know, like you want right, to right. like take them off the internet because you don't want, especially in your case, if you're saying you have three out there or two different ones out there, get rid of one of them, take it offline. So you got to completely deactivate it. And any old accounts, same thing goes for any social media platforms. If you have any other old accounts, yeah, take them off. Like you got to deactivate them just so we don't confuse the audience. I don't want, you know, and again with YouTube, I don't want them trying to YouTube you and then they come across an old channel. Like they come across this one that you're not even building anymore. But, but yet yeah. they subscribe to this one thinking that you still are active over here. You know what I mean? So that must feed automatically from somewhere because I didn't upload any of those. It must have, it must you have probably to. going over from circle picks. It had to be going over from circle. And I just switched that yesterday and maybe that's why I'll go in when we're done and, and see okay. what I can figure out here. You got to get used to video learning. You have to, you have to, have to, have to. Because I want you, out of all the stuff that you're going to be rolling out, your book, for example, building a YouTube channel just gives you much more credibility. And, and, and actually seeing your face on this video gives you so much credibility. It's not even funny. Like I'm having so many more real estate agents reach out to me and so, and so many more just like open to hear me out because of my YouTube channel. Because my YouTube channel finally hit momentum and now it's, now it's growing every day. And because they see my face on the damn video, I'm all of a sudden a real person, yeah. you know? So social media, yeah, you, you want to put your, you got, you got to put yourself out there. You have to, you have to, have to, have to, I mean, you, you, you look great. You have the knowledge. You just have those butterflies in you. You got to kill them. You just got to kill them. You know, you got to get over it. But I know you heard that a million times. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's slowly getting there. They're getting killed off one by one. Right, one by one. There might be a million in there. We'll kill them off one by one. <laughs> Try to find which channel is yours because that's what I want you. So, uh, yeah, like I said, when I popped into my Gmail, well, so which one is this one under? The Think Realty podcast, the one I did with you, which, what is it? So that was under Think that so one, that's under you. Yeah, that one is on my channel. This one is on Think Realty's channel, whoever. Right, because I was in. Yeah, they're a big um, real estate investor platform that I've I've been on their podcast. I've spoken at their events. This so, is good success. This yep, one's on and I, all. Search all property channels. I have no idea what the hell that is. Search all properties. Listings so. to leads dot com. I've never. I think I used them for like thirty days, and that was it. Yeah. So they just grabbed your video and put it on their channel. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that this whole YouTube thing, that's just, you know, organic posting. That's just uploading your video content that you already have and just parking it here for the long term. Like this is this is YouTube is your long term play. That's your long term So, play. so the, like the podcast that I did with you and the one I did with Good Success. Mm -hmm. Should I get them over to my channel? Yeah, for sure. I can easily and, help you do that. That's easy. Yeah, okay. for sure. For sure, for sure. Like I could just come over here, for example. And you got to have software to do this. Like not anyone can do it, but it's a free software that you can, that you can, you can attach to your, to your, it sits up here 
okay. in, in the in the toolbar up at the top, but it just allows me to download any YouTube video. So I can click this green button. Like you wouldn't see that normally on your on your side unless you have that plugged in. Okay. And then I can easily just download that video and then upload it wherever I want. So I can come okay. over here. Once I download that video, I can upload it to Facebook, but I can obviously upload it to YouTube as well. Gotcha. So, um, okay. So do you want me to send you my YouTube um, login and stuff or what? Yeah. I mean, you can send me your, send me your YouTube login and, and then just, um, I wouldn't really recommend that you start with Kartra or anything just yet for sure. For sure. I mean, I don't want you to continue to pay for Whitley if you're not going to be using it. I haven't used it time, in six months. Yeah. So it's like, if anything, and, and, and the only reason why I say, you know, I'm bringing up Kartra is because I want you to activate it when you're actually ready to run. Like when you're actually ready to start rolling Facebook ads out. Because so, so, so let me ask you this, because I have some Facebook ads already, can I not use what I already have? Yeah, you, sh you for sure can. What do you, ha what do you have already? So go, so I did three sets of videos. They should be in my manager for the whole Whitley program. Okay. So I did, there was a, I think there was an intro video. There was a, a video about why it's important to be pre-approved. And then there was the client testimonial video. That was like their three layers of funnels. See, those are uh -huh. perfect. So it's an intro video of you introducing yourself? Yes, I believe oh so. God. I'm trying to think. Lorraine, those, that, that's, exactly what, what, that's exactly what you want. That's exactly okay. what you well, need. Well, it's in there somewhere. I just don't know where. It's in the Whitley or it's in, it's in, the, it's in here on your Facebook They page. were in the, it was, I, it was, so that one was a walkthrough I did. I'm wearing the green jacket. The, mm -hmm. So that was a walkthrough. And then that was, you know, that's kind of more my rehab stuff. Where is it? No, it's not any of those. Would it be in the ads? It could be, it could be in your ads manager. Um, I think that's where they are. I'd have to log into your, into your account to see it. Um, but what you always want to do for, for future is you always want to post it here on the, on the business page first. That's what you want to do for sure is always post it here first and then run the ad because the way you did it and the way, the way a lot of people do it, not actually not a lot, but the way more than, than there should be the way a lot of people do it is they'll simply go into the ads manager and they'll, they'll run an ad on the video and they'll upload that video from their actual computer but the moment they turn that ad off, that video is nowhere to be found. Yeah, and I had sent you, so you should have access to all of that because I gave uh, I gave you all of my login and password. Okay, so I, I'll, I'll I'll look for it. If it's still the same, I'll be able to get in. Yeah, I haven't changed anything. If not, um, how the hell did I send it to them? I'm sure I have the email because I emailed. Did I email? I emailed them over to them, so I'm sure I have it in email somewhere. Okay. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll check my email to see if, <clears throat> to see if it's in there, but do you, do you see that difference? You, you, you ran the ad on the intro, but you didn't post it on the business page first. And now when you turn the ad off, it's nowhere to be found. And so I just want it on the page 24 seven forever. If I paid for that ad, which you did, if I paid for that ad, but when I turn it off, it's nowhere to be found. Why? Like if I paid for it, I want it to be found all damn day. You know what I mean? Like even, if, if, even when the ad's off, I still want it on my page. That's why I post it here first and then I run the ad. That way it stays. It stays on the page. So if, if someone's searching through here, they can see that intro video and watch it, you know, a year later, if anything. So, but I can, I could for sure that, that ad, did you run it? So did you actually run an ad on it already or you so have I ran an ad, right. And then something happened because I had reached out to them. Cause when I went into my, my Facebook ads, when I did the Whitley thing and I paid them last year, I had eight, I think it was eight leads, but for some reason they didn't make it over into Whitley because when I logged into the ads manager, I saw that they were like, it said number of leads, mm -hmm. but they never fed into the Whitley. So there was a disconnect somewhere with Zapier. They had to go back in and connect something. So I was kind of pissed. Cause I'm like, I just spent whatever I spent. I don't know. It's like 150 bucks or so. It was some crazy amount of money mm -hmm. for uh, eight or 11 leads. I'm like, I just spent this money. And these people are like in the black hole. They didn't go anywhere. 
So that's when I went into Facebook and I turned it off because I'm like, it doesn't make any sense that I'm paying for this stuff, but I'm not getting anything out of it. And I turned the three ads off. And so, so um, I haven't done anything since then because this was like right before Christmas. This was probably November. This was before Thanksgiving. So you're um, probably running, um, let me show you over here. So when you click the green button and you come over here to the actual ad setup, you are most likely running lead generation ads. This one right here. I don't know if you remember, but I don't remember. But I, I, is, I think you're. I think you're right. But this I don't is remember. the only, only, um, the only option. Like this is the only category. This is the only one lead generation where you would actually need Zapier. None of these other ones. You need Zapier. Okay, then that's the one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the lead gen one. So, and I needed Zapier to connect to Whitley. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I don't really, that's why I don't use lead generation because I don't want to have to deal with Zapier. I don't want to have to pay an extra fee and I don't want to have to try to figure that out because that's a whole nother circus as well as Zapier and that whole integration. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's lead generation. That's specifically for people who do not have a Whitley account or, or, or no, let me, let me put it this way. Um, actually, you know what to tell you the truth now that I'm really thinking about it. You have Whitley. So, so lead generation, it's only for people in my, in my professional opinion, this is, this is what I know to be a fact. Lead generation, it's only for people who do not have a Whitley account. Like if you have a Whitley landing page or if you have a Kartra landing page, then we're not running lead generation. There's no need because I'm taking them straight from the lead, straight from the ad to a landing page. So why do I even need Zapier? Zapier is, is only when you're connecting, connecting it to an email autoresponder. So that's what you were probably using it for. You're actually, but yeah, so you're, you're paying for landing pages that you weren't using. You were running, you were running lead generation, connecting it to Zapier. So Zapier can connect to Whitley's Whitley. email autoresponder. Yes. But yes. Yeah, so it, it was for the email autoresponder. So that's just that's just multiple steps that that yes. I that I want to want to take. I want to take them straight from an ad to one landing page. I want them to enter their name and email. Like for example, they click on it, they click on it, and they just go to let's say we're you know running an ad on a listing. The ad is over here. They click on it and they come to one page where they opt in, name and email, send me the details. They're on my email autoresponder. An email is going out automatically, and that's it. All that happened without any Zapier. So, so that's automation. Like Zapier automates it as well, but at the same time, you're connecting it to this email autoresponder over here, which it wasn't really necessary. I mean, if you if you used a landing page, if you you like, so for example, rather than your rather than the rather than Zapier, here's another thing. If you want to keep Whitley, here's what here's what you should have been doing. Here's what everybody needs to be doing, and I'm sure everybody does does do it as well. But rather than taking them, because what you were doing again is you were running lead generation, and so with lead generation, we're connecting Zapier to the email autoresponder. But why? when we could just do conversions or we could do traffic or conversions, this is when we're driving them to a landing page because you have the Whitley page. I would, you know, so if we were running an ad, take it straight to a Whitley landing page and that's it. No Zapier know. needed. I don't know if, if Whitley has landing pages. That's though. why I'm trying to figure it out too. I, 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 don't, I know. don't think that they do because otherwise, why would I have to set up the ads? Why did you have, exactly. That's another question. Why because that's how they did it. We set up the ads. I approved them. Then we sent them to Facebook to approve the ad. We set it. They set it all up as a Facebook ad. So I think that's why. So so Whitley must not be a landing page software. They I don't may, think so. They may be just your CRM and and drip campaign software, if anything. And that's right. why you needed Zapier to yep, connect I think to so. the email autoresponder. So at that price point, I'd rather be using Kartra so I can create the landing page and I don't have to do lead generation. I can create the landing page and I have my email autoresponder and I have my calendar. So, and, and all that is automated. I don't have to touch a finger. I don't have to lift a finger. Run the ad, take them to a landing page. They opt in. That's it. No Does third party. Kartra, 
quick question. Does Kartra have the ability to, the one thing that I did like about Whitley was as soon as someone opted in, they got a text message. Does Kartra have that capability as well? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. But at the same time, yeah, for sure, for sure. You can ask for phone number up front. So if, when they click on the button, name, email, phone number for sure. And then that system can text them if anything, but at the okay. same time, that's never what I recommend. Like I never recommend asking for a phone number right here because especially when you're just starting out, like if you took an ad and you targeted your local area, that's going to go to a cold market. Even if you took your ad and marketed it to the entire country, it's a cold market. And that's the thing with Facebook ads. The reason why you can't just place one ad and all of a sudden you have a ton of leads coming in is because you're placing that first ad to a cold market of people who don't know you. So if I'm seeing your ad for the very first time, even though you live five miles away, I get it. We're neighbors. I get it. I still don't know you. And I've, I've never, I'm not Facebook friends with you. I don't even know you have a business page. I don't, I've never met you in my life, never seen your name, but all of a sudden I'm seeing an ad in my newsfeed. I click on it. I come over here. Yes, my wife and I are looking for property. Okay, great. You got my attention. I came over here. I clicked on it. 99% of people are not going to give you their phone number right here. Right, right. Yeah. You know, and that's why, that's why I love the email follow-up, the drip campaign, because that's where I ask for more information. And it's not even asking for more information. I don't need your phone number. I need you to click the link in my email and schedule a call. Like, I want you to do that. Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to ask for your phone number in the email. Hey, John, what's your number? I'll call you today. No. Hey, John, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best call, best time. So it's just a different way that I ask for information to people that don't know me. I want you to click the link to schedule an appointment versus me asking for your phone number. Yep. You see how different that is? Yep. That's marketing. Mm -hmm. So th there's a difference there. And, and, it, and, it's, and I'm telling you, it's, it just, it's, it's, it, this is just basic stuff. Like this is, this is all a person needs, no matter what business you're building. This could be, this, this applies for any small business owner, any local business owner, Facebook ad, lead capture, check your inbox. That's it. Especially when we're promoting a listing, like this is a person that's over here interested on, on, in what you're selling. And, and, and then I'm taking over here, name, email, please check your email for price, address, and photo, photos. That person right there, they're going to check their email a second later. That email is automated, automatically sent to them an, a second later. So it's in that email that I'm asking for more information. And really to tell you the truth, it's only click on the link, schedule a call. So you can get as fancy as you want with all these text strip systems, but I'm telling you, who the hell likes being marketed through text? You don't. I, I get marketed through text all the time. Really? You're on, oh, yeah. and you put your phone number everywhere. I don't. I, I, I don't. That. It just depends. Well, and all, a lot of them now, what a lot of, and a lot of what I get actually is, um, well, my phone number is also out there. I get yeah, your a lot number's of, out there. And so that's the other thing, because I get a lot of, uh, especially wholesalers, uh, sending me properties. Mm -hmm. It's now ringless voicemail and, and text messaging. So mm -hmm. they've got to be getting it from somewhere because, I, well, yeah, I mean, my phone number's everywhere. I'm a real estate agent. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. It's not that hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> to, for, it, for the consumer, when you put everything in the consumer's shoes, our phone number is, is, is literally the last thing we have to our yeah. privacy. Yeah. Like, we'll give up our email all damn day. But my phone number, mm, and, and that's why, like, over here on every campaign, like you can go through your newsfeed, like you can really, you can really um, like test me on this, like really, really look, look into this yourself. Like if you just start scrolling through your newsfeed and start clicking on ads, here's an ad right here. I click on learn more and it's taking me to a lead generation ad. So this right here, back to this, this right here is lead generation. So this is the type of ad, if anything, this is the type you were running. Is where, is where there's no Karcher form, there's no Whitley form, it's the Facebook form. Yes. yes and so, and so that's, that's one type of ad. This person is asking for phone number, but nine out of 10, actually 10 out of 10, like nine, I guess, because that one, you know, there's a phone number. Let's just call it nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 random ads. It doesn't have to be real estate. It could be anything. Nine out of 10 are not asking for a phone number. So, I follow marketers. That's what I do. And, and it's, it's normally name and email. So if I click on learn more, 
This is another one taking me to a lead generation form. So you can do this. You could say, you know what, the hell with Whitley, the hell with Kartra. I don't have a budget for that. I just want to capture leads running Facebook ads. This is the way to do it. But at the same time, you still need some type of CRM. You, need, you still need some type yeah. of email autoresponder to get that information to that, pe to that person. So that's when, that's when we're going to have to pay. Okay, that's when we're going to have to pay for an email autoresponder. And that's when we're also going to have to pay for Zapier. So that's why, like, that's why I don't run lead generation forms because you can do this, but there's just more steps. And now there's mul multiple services that we've got to pay for. Okay. Just to try to run that, you know, that way. But any other ad, like if I click on any other ad, this guy right here, Chris Ross Realtor. Let's say I click on him in another lead form. See Facebook, see now the algorithm. That's how crazy this Facebook algorithm is. Facebook is already seeing my habit. They're seeing that I'm clicking on ads of these lead forms and now they're showing me more. That's how smart this freaking machine is. Like, it's crazy. Like, I never see those types of ads. And then all of a sudden, I click on one, I see another one. I click on one, it's another one. This one now, book now. Another one. Another, the Facebook algorithm pick, picked me up. Yeah, see, and they all ask for phone numbers. And now, now and that's just on the lead, lead generation form, though. That's just on this lead generation form. If you're running traffic or conversions, which is what I'm saying to do, traffic or conversions only because you have a landing page. Traffic and conversions is only if we have a landing page. So that's why I'm saying with earlier with Whitley, if there's landing pages over here, we should have just been running it to landing pages and that's it. No Zapier needed. But yeah, if no, it's it, not, I'm, I'm almost positive. No, there's no landing pages to my knowledge at all. Yeah. So that, yeah, that, that makes more sense. That's why, that's why you're, you're using Zapier, but any other ad, I'm trying to find one that's taking me off of Facebook. So let's see. Yeah, this one's taking me straight to lead more lead generation um, ads, which is just the Facebook form. Let's see where this person takes me. Yeah, see more <laughs> like Facebook, their algorithm just they got me. They got me. They know I'm, I'm clicking on all these different lead form ones. Let's see where this one takes me. Yeah, another one, another one. So I mean, it's totally up to you. It just, it just, it just comes down to what you want to do, Lorraine. I mean, there's just multiple tools. I'm just trying to keep it as basic as possible. And that's what I need. I need to be as basic as possible and as inexpensive as possible. There's Look my Facebook you. Live that just wouldn't work. Look. It would not work. Lorraine, I'm telling you. I tried. It would. I'm sitting there going, okay, where do I turn the script? Well, and I always struggle with turn, like turning the screen around. But yeah, Lorraine. I'm like, sorry guys, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, this right here just convinced me that you can do this. <laughs> like you can do video. This is all it's this is all it takes, man. On your cell phone, selfie style, Lorraine giving some knowledge. That is it. That is it. That video targeting our local backyard, taking them to one page and capturing the lead. That is it. That is it. That is it. Like like Although it'd be great to get phone numbers all damn day, it's not, it's not, it's, it's, it, I mean, it's, it's not. And, and, and also, by the way, these other ads where we keep seeing the form pop up, lead generation ads, those ads are a little bit more expensive because you're asking for phone number. So the more information, that's why, that's why most people only ask for basic information, name, email. Because the more you, the more information you ask, the higher your cost per lead is going to be. And that's why these lead generation ads are not exactly the cheapest, especially when you're asking for a phone number. Like you got to think about it. You can't just spend five bucks a day and expect to get five leads a day with name, phone number, email. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, right. Especially when you look at Zillow or you look at realtor.com, how much does it cost per lead? How much do they sell you leads for? Like, like even Y Lopo. Okay. Thousand dollars a month. When I really break it down, how many leads am I getting and what's that cost per lead? It's not that cheap. Like yeah. it's not that cheap at all. Like ask your friend, reach out to her and say, Hey, a thousand dollars a month. Okay, great. How many leads came in last month? And then do the simple math on cost per lead. And so if they're, if, if you were running lead generation, that's a higher cost per lead versus if I took them to my landing page and only asked for name and email. Yeah. I think I was running 11 or $12 a lead or something like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, because you're asking for a phone number and, and now more people have to now Facebook sorting through more people to find those people that are actually willing to give up their phone number, you know? So I just think, man, if you were doing videos like this and if you were doing one per week and you were running a Facebook ad targeting that local area, that's all it takes. And, and then, and then I'm telling you, if this landing page software, that's why I would think your, your, your buddy Chris would be more open to help you because he's obviously incentivized to, to help you, you know? So if anything, I could, I could put together a bunch of these funnels for you. Um, I can import all those emails like that's simple. And then I could, I could be your, I could be your, 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 your VA. So if you ever need anything, you, you know, I can jump into this account, change out something, update something. But I mean, I can, I'm willing to do all that and, and not even charge you for that. That's, that's the Kartra side of everything because that, that's all you're going to need. The Kartra system running this every week and that's it. That's it. Don't let anything else confuse you. Like that's, that's all. And, and again, if we can grab all these emails over here before you cancel this one, that's even better. That's even better. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you, yeah, I'm, like I said, I, I, I love Chris to pieces and he's super, he's just very inconsistent. I, I can't, he's very inconsistent because he'll go MIA for months at a time. Um, so yeah, if you can do that for, and he said it multiple times, he's like, I'll set up your shopping cart when you get to the point to having courses. And I'm like, like, that's all fine and dandy, but it's, you know, it's the same thing. I'm like, dude, I, you know, I can't just give you a brand right now. That's just, that's just not going to happen. Um, <laughs> And like I said, last time I talked to him was probably two or three months ago. He comes to me when he, he finds these, he came to me with a, a whole hemp growing project out in Colorado looking for funders. You know, he comes mm -hmm. to me with shit like that. Yeah. And I have some people contact him, but then he disappears again. And so I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of just, I love him as a person, but I could never work with him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't, like I said, I have Whitley. I don't think I pay until, I don't know if it's April or May. I have to find out. Okay. But I know at least until the end of the month, I'm good. Um, and if you want to send me your Kartra link, um, you know, when you think I, sh I should pull the plug, just say, okay, go pull the plug. And then I should have those other videos um, from Adonis. I don't know if they're up. He was going to upload them last night. The educated you have videos. Okay. Go so ahead. then okay. upload those where? So it's called my RE360. I don't know if you want to pull it up on a tab. My RE360.com. And this way we'll know if they're up or not. That's it. And after three hours, I was finally getting in my comfort zone. Um, learn the business education. See, I don't know if it'll let you see without signing in. Go to over to the left where it says learn the business education. Okay. I haven't been on here yet. So, because I should be on there as an educator. Okay. Okay. So then. I don't know if you have to log in to do that. I don't know if you have to create an account to. Uh, Yeah, I can't even click on get educated. My my okay, and maybe it's not he's he hasn't launched it fully yet. Let's mm -hmm. see. My R E let me let me just text him. It's quite easier. And this is is this an individual or is this an actual like full blown company? So it's a full blown company. Um that's so and uh, he's launching he's live in I think Dallas, DC, and I forget where else. He's actually a hard money lender um, based out of California, and he's launched this whole MyRE 360 because he wants it to be a one-stop shop for investors. He wants it to be a place where investors can get, or new investors can get educated, where they can find deals, where they have vendors. His, he's trying to create a platform that's a one-stop shop for investors. It's mm -hmm. free to sign up. It doesn't cost you anything right now. And I asked him, I said, how are you going to make your money? And his plan is further on down the line to charge the educators and char and uh, have ads and keep the platform for right now free for users. 
and then okay. I'm sure in the future it'll be a subs- it'll be a monthly subscription. That's my guess. It just it blows my mind when I come to you know a website and they're not tracking me. Like up here, there's no Facebook pixel found. The reason why Facebook has so much data on everyone uh-huh. is because nine out of ten people who actually have a website has their Facebook pixel installed on it. That's why, because Facebook is tracking all this damn activity that's going on on every type of website. So they know what the hell you're clicking on because you've been on this website, you've been on that website, you've been on this one, you've been on that one, because every website has a Facebook pixel tracking. Ah. And it just blows my mind when I come to one and they're supposed yeah, to be- he's pretty sharp, because Adonis yeah. is pretty sharp. I mean, he's an electrical engineer by trade. Oh, I would, yeah, I would, I have no doubt. I, I have no idea why his pixel is not on this page. I don't know. Like he should be tracking me right now. I land here, he should be tracking me. Bottom line. And 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 even if he's not running Facebook ads right this second, that's still fine. You still need to be 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 putting all that data in a bucket. Like how many people have actually probably came here and he doesn't even know how to he he doesn't even know who that is. Like he that's the thing about Facebook ads. And that's why a landing page is so important. You see the difference. Look, here's this 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 page over here. And this is my little my little plugin, my little um, tool, okay. Facebook Pixel Helper. This just lets me know who's tracking me and who's not. So, for example, he's not. And if I come to a landing page, this one over here, I have it. I have the pixel on on this one. And look, if I click on this one, it tells me the social real estate agent is tracking me. So that that's why landing pages are so important because we're able to capture the audience of people who land here. Because for one, when you start running ads and let's say someone, you know, sees a listing ad or whatever, they click on it. Let's say this was an actual listing ad. They click learn more. They come over here, but for whatever reason, they don't give up their information. I still tracked them. That's the pixel. So over here, this guy, he needs to be tracking everyone who lands here and and just building that audience. Even if he's not running ads right now, that's good data. That audience will continue to build because people are landing here. And whenever you do pull the trigger and start to run ads in the future, you're going to have that group of people to target. So I wonder if it's, I think I have the pixel on my regular real estate website. Let's um, check. Let's see. It's this one right here. Yeah. I'm I'm curious now. So if I come here. No, no. Okay. So, so, but, but again, at the same time, this is not where we would be running ads. So, so again, that's what everybody yeah. does. Everybody will run an ad and then they'll take me to a full blown website like this. And that's not what we want to do because there's nowhere to capture the lead. Unless I, unless after I type in an address, a form pops up. Yeah, I think it does. And, and makes me, makes me fill out something. Let's just see. Let's, um, so if I hit search, so I'm able to get this far without giving up my information. That's, that's, that's what we, so that's why we don't run an ad to this page because a person can get this far without even giving up their information. I don't want to give up anything right now. I want to take you to one basic page. You got to give up that information. Once you hit the blue button, then I may take you to this website. Okay. But I'm not going to spend money to get you to click and you come here and there's just nowhere. Before you know it, I'm looking at this listing. Before you know it, I'm clicking on the something else. Before you know it, I'm over here reading all this and then dinner's ready and I got to go. So you don't yeah. get that money to get my attention you know, and, and there was nowhere to fill out the form. But yeah, there's no pixel on this one either. And yeah, I know there's a form at some, I forget how far you can get because I have, I, I, I mean, I've had this website for about a year. I think I've gotten two or three leads. So at some point people do fill something out. I just mm-hmm. don't remember where, cause I don't really use it. Yeah. What, what, even though you don't use it, you still, you still want your pixel on it. Like you still want your, you, you still want to be tracking everyone who lands here. And I don't know how to do that. Okay. That's a Boston logic website. I have no clue how to do that. So yeah, someone else built it for you. If anything, you could just, I mean, the pixel is inside your ads manager over here. 
But if anything, you could just copy it and then email it to them. Okay. Whoever built this website, just say, hey, here's my Facebook pixel. Do you mind adding it to my page? Yeah, I'll ask our um, our tech support because mm-hmm. I did some of it. They did some of it. But like I said, I, I just mm-hmm. – and it's got a whole lot more capabilities I know that than I'm using. Um, yeah, but this this is a full yeah. website great for, for credibility and great for informational purposes. Not great one bit at all for running Facebook ads. Yeah. So, yeah. so it, it's good to have a site like this, you know, but, but at the same time, this is not where you're going to be running ads to. Yep. Okay. You know. And so, then I wonder, check one, check one more for me, since you're on there, if you don't mind. Yeah. Check LorraineBeato.com. Okay. Let's it's, go. it's not on there. I don't think it's on there. You just need to open a new tab. I don't think it's B-E-A-T. There you go. I don't think it's on there either. That may be a place I may in the future. Once that's kind of my other, it can't be fine. Oh, one R, two R is not I, three. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Typing too fast. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. What happened to it? <laughs> okay, here we go. That's more my, that'll be like my flip the switch, my speaking engagements, my presenting, my investor stuff. That's kind of my other. And I need to get that picture changed. I'm just trying to figure out. I've got to send it to the guy that did it for me. Okay, good, good. But yeah, you definitely want to put a pixel, put pixel on, on there well. too at some point. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll let him know. Yeah, Okay. for sure, for sure. So long story short, it's, it's just whenever you're ready to start running weekly ads, like like a video, like one per week, that's what you should be doing right now. Is, is, is if the budget was there running, running a weekly ad and just getting them to a landing page to capture the lead. So what kind like, of a budget am I looking at? I mean, if you were to start really running Facebook ads, you'd be, you want to look at at least, I mean, you can start super small. I guess you could start at $5 a day, but it's not going to, it's, it's not going to do too, too much. Um, a lot of successful real estate agents would do $20 a day and, and crush it. And so, when you look at, I mean, even if you did $10 a day, I mean, 30 days, there's a $300 budget. So you can start there. You could start at $10, but eventually you'd want to be at the $20 range. And, and again, money is, is for sure probably tight for anybody right now. Yeah, I know. Really, That's When you really yeah. start closing a deal, like it just takes one deal. Once you close one deal, you could take that number way up. Because at the yeah. same time, I mean, even if, even at 20 bucks a day, 600 a month, and you're making what per deal? Yeah, like, exactly. You know, I get. Yep. I I get it. The you ROI make money is to spend, crazy. You guys spend money to make money. But 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 what's so crazy about real estate is that you guys are making a ton of money. Obviously, you have so many other expenses. I get it. But the actual net that you make per deal, it's it, 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 There's no comparison. Like, I spend six hundred on Facebook ads for the month, but I close one deal and make six grand. Like, what right. other that profit margin? Other people that are selling other random shit on Facebook through Facebook ads, it's like like people selling products. Like for example, for example, your friend, your friend Rochelle, selling selling uh, uh, the dog collar. Uh-huh. Right? Do you know about her whole dog business? Yeah, that a friend of hers. Yeah, because that's how I started talking to her about yeah. you. Her um, so, her friend kind of dumped it on her. Just wanted to walk yeah. away, and that was it. But what, but my point is that when you look at that, that's how most people are, are building businesses or selling some type of product. And it's like, okay, $30, $30 price point, and I'm spending, let's just say, 10 bucks a day on, on a Facebook ad. I got to sell a shitload of those to make some yeah. kind of money. Yeah. But with real estate, it's like, man, you're telling me all I got to do is, it's, out of all this stuff going on, all I got to do is close one damn deal, and my margin is that much? Yeah, no, so, I know. I, that's I don't. Why, I don't disagree at all. You know what I mean? That's why I say you can't, you don't really want to Mickey Mouse it. Like if anything, let's go all in. Like, and, and what I'm saying, $20 a day, $600 a month budget and, 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 and rock with that. And, it, and, and it's not like you're spending 600 all at once. It's like, it's daily. And, and Facebook, a lot of times they don't bill you until the end of the month. So it's not like you're, you're spending, you're, you're not giving 600 a month and they're charging your card for 600, 600 right now. Right. That money is pay. It, you're paying that over time. Like it, it's like they damn near give you a loan. That's what I love about Facebook. They literally give you a loan. They let you spend X amount before they charge you. 
So, so it's not like, so if I'm saying $20 a day, you're going to start seeing some activity within the first week, week and a half. And you're going to know if those ads are even running. It's not like you're going to turn on $20 a day on one ad and just let the damn thing run without even paying attention to it. Like you're not going to do that. So it's not like you're going to blow 600 at all. You would turn an ad on and then you would obviously monitor it over the next few days to see if it's doing anything. If it's not, you turned off and then we run a different ad. But, but the mindset, I just, I just want to plant that number in your head just so you're, you know, just so you, you, you can be ready for that type of a budget. But yeah, it's not like it's spent all in one day. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, but, but that's at the high end. I mean, that's on the higher end, you know, 20 bucks a day, for example, but you could for sure be at $10 a day and, and start seeing some good traction. And that's okay. at, that's at 300, you know, for the budget. Okay. And that's so, kind of what I had in mind was 300. Um, yeah. <sighs> so it's just going to come down to either you learning all this stuff for you, which is where I'm headed, Lorraine, to really be honest with you, like where I'm headed in 2020 with my business is teaching you guys how to do this yourself. But for some, not everyone has that time to sit there and watch some damn training videos. You know what I mean? So if you're that type of person where you just don't have the time to learn it yourself or the patience to learn it yourself, then yeah, you'd end up having to hire somebody, obviously. Yeah. But I'm just saying, even hiring somebody, your margin is ridiculous. Yeah, I know. And I just, cause that's, so that's the whole Whitley thing um, is he does a bunch of trainings and, and all that other stuff. Like when I paid him to set up my client generation system, which now I'm kicking myself for having done that, but it's done. I could have gone through all the trading videos and I spent hours when I, I spent hours of my time and I got so frustrated because I had a disconnect and it wasn't working. I just know that that is just, it is not in my wheelhouse. Um, I hate it. I hate it. It's not in my wheelhouse when something doesn't work and I've attempted it three or four times. I'm just done. I'm over it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just oh, not yeah. something I hate. Uh, personally, I hate technology. I need it, but I hate it. Yeah. Um, I'm a, you know, yeah, I'm a people person. Put me in front of, like, I went to so the listing I just got. I went out. It was a referral. I talked to them and I sat there and I, I went through my listing presentation. I said, wow. I said, I can't tell you the last time I did a formal listing presentation. Mm -hmm. And they were like, really? Why? I said, because all my business is word of mouth. It's all referrals. I said, so here's a little bit about me. Here's a little bit about Palmer House. And he flat out, and I knew he had been talking to Redfin because the guy that referred me to him had told me they were, they wanted a discount brokerage. Mm -hmm. So when we got done and I told him, I said, look, I said, at the end of the day, I said, you know, whether you use me or someone else, it doesn't matter. You need to be comfortable with the person. And I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to answer them. And he says, well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but as, as I was talking, though, I said, you can do a mobile close because they're relocating. His wife said, I feel so much better already. I was so nervous and I feel so much better already talking to you. And will you come in and help me stage? And will you come in and help me do that? And I said, yes, that's part of what I do. And then I said, just like your husband asked me about commission over the phone four days ago, I said, I don't usually people tell people what my commission is, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's 6%. And that's pretty standard across the board. And I said, yes, there are discount firms out there. So that's when he says, well, I'll be honest with you. I've talked to a couple of other agents and what do you know about Redfin? And I've talked to Redfin and I said, I don't know much about them, except they offer a discount. I have not worked with them. Um, I said, but you need to understand those firms are discount for a reason. And then I handed him my card. I said, I'll leave my CMA with you. I don't usually do that, but I'm going to leave this with you. And I handed him my card and he goes, oh, cool card. I love your logo. And I said, <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. And he's like, where'd you come up with it? So I gave him my backstory. Mm -hmm. And he said, I said, and that's also the color of my signs. I said, my, all my stuff is branded. And he goes, man, that sign would look really good in our front yard. And I said, yeah, it sure would. <laughs> wow. And I got the listing, full commission. I didn't cut it. They called me three days later. They're like, you won our hearts over. We love you. This is awesome. And I'm hopefully expecting an offer today that would have been on the market 48 hours. See, let me um, I'm telling you, I'm, I, I base a lot that's of- That's what I'm good at. Forget the tech shit. <laughs> See, you're making 6%, Lorraine. You got to step it up. Like, you got to go all in with Facebook ads. You have to. You have to. Like I so yeah, when I when I close that, I mean I've got to pay a referral fee, but that's fine. But yeah, that's kind yeah. of my thing. I've got my other one under contract closing in April. Um, 
I'm hopefully getting the offer on this one. So I'm just trying to, and I've got some money put aside to start now because I don't want to wait. So then you have, you have, so you have a listing right now then? I have three. Oh my God. Let's get, let's, let's start there. Like let's, let's, let's drive those to a landing page and capture a lead like that. Like okay. let's One's drive. One's under contract, but the other one I just listed is a really nice house. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got a really nice town home, which uh, I haven't had any showing. So I think her price is high, but that one, that's another, I always get my full commission. I don't cut my commission unless they're buying that one. I don't have a referral fee on that would be sweet to sell. Um, and it's a year old. It's practically new construction. Are so they, tell me, tell me what you need for me and tell me what I need to do. And I'm just going to do it. 